And we welcome you everyone to NASCAR's longest race of the season. It's time for the 14th race of the 2023 season. We are here for the running of the Coca-Cola 600 here live on Fox. Of course, I'm your commentator, like always, Dylan Walker. And there's a bit of a shocker. Yesterday, in pole qualifying here from the Charlotte Motor Speedway, 2022. One in 2023, Daytona 500 champion Michael McDowell has qualified on the pole for the day's race with Kevin Harvick starting to his outside. Let's waste some of you guys' time. Let's go track side for the command. Drivers, start your engines. And all right, the engines have been fired here from the Coca-Cola 600 here. Going to be an awesome race here, in my opinion. Mark McDowell there on the front row. With Kevin Harvick to his outside. And last year's race was pretty crazy. We had a wreck, a flip or two with the first time winner. Will we see that today? Or will we see a repeat winner? Kevin Harvick and Michael McDowell have won races so far in 2023. Truex and Logano had not, even though that 22 has won with Zane Smith as a substitute driver. But here we come to the starting. Here they come to the line. The green flag is out. The Coca-Cola 600 from Charlotte is green, and we're underway. Shovel crash in the back. Still green though. I believe it was the 78. Balicki or someone, I or McLeod. But look at this, they're three wide right here. Man, they're gonna wreck. <laughs> oh, there they go. Jones in the wall. Round they go. One car spins to the grass. Or spin oh, big crash! Whoa, Chase Briscoe up and over. This wreck is huge. Oh my. Ty give oh my god. Two more cars are up and over. That this is it's bad. More guys are wrecking up here. Harrison Burton and Tyler Reddick. I don't know who's going to be leading this race. Not a lot of cars are going to be left in this one. 37 in the race, over half of them. And the red flag is going to be out. Well, we're back here live from the Coca-Cola 600 here from Charlotte, North Carolina. Of course, we skipped that red flag. Four cars look like will be left from that wreck. So that means 21 left in the race. Chase Elliott will be last out of the cars um, still in today's race. As Michael McDowell and William Byron running 1-2 right now with Larson in third. The green flag back in the air here from Charlotte. Got Byron to the inside. He has not won a race this season. Of course, your winners this year. Michael McDowell, Eric Jones, Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson... Ryan Blaney, or not Ryan Blaney, um, who won Texas? I don't know who won Texas. Um, Justin Haley, Ryan Blaney, Justin Haley, Tyler Reddick, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson, Chris Busher, Zane Smith, and Ross Chastain are winners this year. So yeah, Byron has not won a race yet this year. Larson has. That was Las Vegas. He pulls a slider on him. You know, last time that Kyle Larson won a Las Vegas race in the season was 2021 when he won the championship. And here he comes. This could be Larson's year. I mean, he looks fast this year. He has the speed and he has the momentum. Unlike last year, he went winless. And, you know, wasn't even in championship contention. But this is the year where I believe that Kyle Larson uh, could be in championship contention. Down the back stretch they go. Yeah, and, and trust me, you know, out of four here, and you see there, Byron's just reeling him in. 
11 to go. There's a great fly by the field there. What's going on our aerial blimp here? You can see there that Harvick, Harvick's going to get a run on Logano here off four, but you can see here Byron's just trying to reel in Kyle Larson right here. It's not really working for him too much. Larson just seems to have the better car. And of course, by the way, it's since we're halfway done this race, time for uh, next weekend's promotion. Yes, we're going street racing for the first time in NASCAR Cup Series history at Houston for the running of the Houston Toyota Grand Prix. That's going to be a fun race there. Race 15 of the year, second last race that will be on Fox this year. Before NBC starts over in, I think, Nashville Super Speedway and Daytona. And then, I know Daytona's the 18th race of the year, but we got, I think, no, I think they actually start off their season with Daytona. I'm going to have to check. <laughs> but we got Byron to the inside. Byron is ever so slightly is just reeling in that five. Going, trying to reel it in here, coming off four. It's going to be eight to go. Yeah, he laughs to go here. Got Logano here. Trying to go three wide up through the middle, going to third place. Whoa! Byron with the slide job and takes it. Oops. From Larson. Last time that the 24 car won this race. I don't even know. <laughs> it's been a long time. That's the point I'm trying to make here. It's like the 90s, I think. 94 is the last time I remember. But Larson's two is inside. The last time the we know the last time the five car one year. It's been two years. <laughs> Before that, it was 2012 with Casey Kane. McDowell, oh, oh. We would watch on the battle for third place, but I think the battle for leads is more important here. Because you got one guy trying to lock himself in the playoffs and one guy that's trying to you know, add on to his winning percentage this year. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be tight. Contact made. Larson. Give the Larson there that time. Well, here's the thing. These guys side by side. It's going to let these cars right behind them. You know, uh, McDowell, Harvick, Wagano, and maybe some cars on back to reel these guys in here. I'm surprised they haven't wrecked yet. I don't think they will necessarily. They're keeping those cars straight here very good. Four to go from Charlotte. This looks like a dirt race. Everyone's just sliding up top. Of course, they're not drifting or anything, because really, that's not the most realistic thing to do on pavement. But uh, yeah, it looks like Larson. I don't know if Byron just doesn't have enough. Oh, oh, Busher. Uh, Busher says it doesn't come up the track, doesn't cause any problems. Oh, look at that! Look at McDowell with the move on the outside, riding that wall. I don't know. I don't think Byron has enough. I think he used up all of his stuff. I think this might be uh, Larson's race. Uh, but we got lap traffic, though. I think they're going to catch lap traffic. We know the problem with lap traffic this year. It's really changed the outcome of these races. Byron just, Byron's losing here just very little. Harvick's going to make the slide job on McDowell. First lap car is going to be Chase Elliott. I would assume he would be out of the way. Really quickly, and last year's winner, Suarez. White flag waves, though. White flag is out. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Elliott's holding up Larson here. Suarez, they're going to get around. Suarez just, no, I don't know. 
But Byron's there. Does Byron send it in to the inside? I don't know. He's not uh, not going to have enough. Off turns three and four. Kyle Larson has dominated the Coca-Cola 600, and for the second time, he wins it. Wow, what a win for Larson there. Second of the season.